students so the next concept in our series is cell division but before i start with the concept i am first going to have a quick recap about something called as chromosome you all have already done this in standard 9th but i'm sure tumko yaad nahi hoga so let's do it again so this is your cell and this is your nucleus what i want to explain here is only the nucleus so i have enlarged only the nucleus out here now this is the stage of nucleus during the resting stage of the cell now when i use the resting stage here i don't mean g0 or r phase i just mean that the state of the cell when cell is not undergoing division during the cell during the resting stage of the cell within the nucleus you will find thread like network called chromatin fiber thread like network called chromatin fibers which are made up of dna that is your genetic material deoxyribonucleic acid now when this cell enters into m phase or division phase your thread like network chromatin fibers is going to condense into something called as chromosomes into something called as chromosomes now what are chromosomes actually made up of your chromosomes are made up of two sister chromatids are made up of two sister chromatids attached at a point called centromere centromere students so here this is my chromatid one the one longitudinal one and this is my chromatid two both the chromatids are attached at this yellow center called centromere called centromere the individual chromatids are called sister chromatids are called sister chromatids so entire structure is chromosome chromosome is made up of two sister chromatids attached at a point centromere board question students centromere is point of contact between two sister chromatids it is a point of contact it is a point of contact between two sister chromatids centromere now the number of chromosomes remain constant for a given species means what makes us all humans there has to be something similar between us so the similar thing between us is the number of chromosomes in most of our cells so what makes you human is that most of your cells have 46 chromosomes in them and chromosomes are always present in pairs chromosomes are always present in pairs that will make it 23 pairs of chromosome in each and every cell of your body so in this diagram i have made only two chromosomes but in your cell how many chromosomes will you have yes you guessed it right you will have 46 chromosomes present in 23 pairs 